Hey friends, today we're going to be thrifting at the Goodwill in Centerville, Virginia. This is a nice big Goodwill. They've got a nice big fitting room and I've got a nice little Pinterest list that I'm working from hoping to style up some outfits for the fall. So this is going to be one of those videos where I style the outfits together in the fitting room and then share my haul from there. In most of my videos I like to take the pieces home and I style everything up with other pieces in my wardrobe and the lighting looks a little bit different and everything. So if you have a strong preference one way or the other, please let me know in the comments. This is just working out better with my schedule this week. It sometimes is helpful for me to be able to produce videos this way and it's also kind of nice to change things up. It doesn't mean I'm changing things up forever. So if you don't like this one, don't worry. I'm sure we'll be back to the old way the other week, but it would help me to know in the comments and I just wanted to let you know for this video. So. Let's go in and thrift. Check out the men's pants. I just found these like wide leg cotton pants. I feel like those could be really cute to style. I kind of wish they had a pleated waist, but and they might be a bit too big for me, but I really like that style, so that's a maybe. And then I also saw these black corduroy pants that do have the cute pleated waist that I like. So those are a maybe also. Okay, and then I found these actually are a women's style, I believe, from the the way the sizing is tagged, but they're in the men's section, so you never know. Either way, uh, they look like they fit me. It's a cool pattern on that, and they have the cargo pocket. I have not tried cargo pants in a long time, so it might be fun to try those. Yeah, let's do it. These are really great Levi's 501 flares. I don't know if the flare part is aftermarket or what, but... Um, Look how stinking cute. I wish that those would fit me. They're definitely not my size. And these are the um, Levi's Waterless brand. So they have the big E on the back, but they're not vintage. Like just if you're looking for that type of thing. Uh, the Waterless brand also used the big E on their tag. So really cool though. I might have to look for a pair in my size on Poshmark or something. I think the men's sweaters are like one of my favorite sections in a thrift store usually. Uh, there's not a ton here today, but um, look at this cute Argyle one I'm thinking about. Feels very fall. Then this one with the collar. Love a knit with a collar. That's actually super cute. That might be an 80s one also. So yeah, a couple of options there. Oh, that's a great color. And it's like got a bunch of holes in it, which could make it like a fun distressed grunge vibe. I like rescuing pieces like that. <laughs> Just rock the holes and call it grunge. <laughs> Look at this cute American Eagle one. This one's like not really my personal vibe, I think, but it's really nice. I'm hoping to find a shirt dress over in the dress section to pull off some of those like layering looks that I've got on Pinterest, but I think I'm gonna grab for me an oversized button up and see if I could style that kind of in a similar way and play with the proportions. Also super into the color of this blazer, like this sage green. That could be fun. I like this blazer too, like the the um, plaid print on it, and it's a little bit lightweight. I feel like it could layer up nicely over maybe a longer button up to play with those proportions, so I'm gonna grab that. We have Barbie pink, cute, probably not for me. And then I found these um, satin, I think, hand or homemade blazers, handy. Look at the purple. And that one has like a rose print on it. I think the way that these are like a really like kind of um, shiny satin is super fun. And I think this one especially could be a fun Halloween piece. I don't know, I might 
I might grab one of these. Let me think about it. Oh my god, I just spotted this scarf and the artwork on it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard to show you. Hang on. This art style reminds me of like Peter Max. It's I can't see that it's marked anywhere, but I might have to Google lens it. Okay, these are like the cutest shoes ever. 10 bucks, nice. Y'all, this vintage dress I just found. Ooh, it says it's size 18, but I mean, it's vintage 18. It's very sheer, like it needs a slip, but the ruffle detail is everything. Look at the, ah. I might have to see if it'll fit me. We just gotta try it on. <laughs> and here's a vintage Henry Lee dress. It's like this bold, um, deep teal color. I know greens kind of show up funky on my camera usually, but it's also a really pretty, like, shiny fabric. That's so cute. I was hoping to find a slip dress for this style of pin that I've actually had saved for a long time. Um, this is a like David's Bridal bridesmaid dress. But I, I think it could sort of work over a turtleneck, but it's got a little bit more like texture than I wanted and I wanted it to be like shiny instead. So that's like a maybe. And I don't really have other, I haven't found a slip dress yet that would work for me. But like, I want this satiny sheen. And they had, oh, that's cool. This one I love, but it's definitely too small for me. But how fun would that be to like, style with um, lug sole boots or something? This, uh, I think, 90s prom dress. <laughs> Fun Liz Claiborne. This style is more of what I was looking for. I like that. Uh, I don't know if it'll fit me, but we could try it. Maybe, maybe. Oh gosh, look how cute this is. says made in the USA. That's precious. Another cute vintage dress. I actually really like that one. It's Miss Chow's. Nice like faux wrap style. It probably is really cute on. It does have an elastic waist so maybe that would fit me. I feel like you get a lot more bust room in these uh, 80s dresses so of that. I might grab this one because it is a full button dress and I feel like it could work for like the shirt dress styling that I wanted to go for. I love this detail on the sleeve too. Well as you can tell I just like jumped right in and the thrifting has been sort of chaotic so far. <laughs> like I haven't even gone completely through one section. I've been bouncing around. It's kind of busy in here, so I'm trying to stay out of the way. <laughs> and every time I pick a spot to shop, like people come over and want to look there too. So sometimes that's the way she goes. But uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this chaotic thrift and the cart's filling up, so we're still getting results. <laughs> this nice wool coat. Great kind of charcoal to black color from Hecht. Classic. Okay yeah so if you can't tell this 
has been a little bit chaotic and all over the place I've been just jumping around but I am finding some good stuff and I realized like I have found some bottoms I think my strategy now like I'm gonna look at the skirts and then I'm gonna um, take a look at my cart and see what pieces I have pulled so far and start getting an idea of what my outfits might look like before I go into the women's tops and that's where I'll have like the most options so then I'll try to be a little more intentional about what I'm looking for and so far just grabbing whatever grabs me. I really just found two skirts um, that I even like. And this one I kind of like the print, olives, but I don't know if it feels like the right season to me. It looks almost tropical. And then this orange one, I think feels really on point with the season. I'm not sure if it goes with any of the looks, so I think it's time to just go through my cart and start pulling my outfits together. All right, let me show you what I'm thinking so far. In no particular order. I've got these two satiny, kind of low-key spooky blouses, right? I found these black flowy pants. I feel like with a camisole, I could make that into a cute outfit. Then we've got her, and I, I don't know. Like, I just have to try it. This one, it could help me do this pin. I would need a fitted turtleneck, maybe in a good contrasting color, like even orange or something. So maybe. Then I've got my shirt dress inspiration. There's so many different looks that I've been thinking about with playing with those proportions. I'm kind of obsessed with this particular person on Pinterest. I found a knit button down dress in this great olive green. So I could wear that open more duster style. Then of course I got this white button up. I'm thinking maybe those with these cords and then like rolled up. So I don't know, this could be like, we've already got an outfit here. So maybe. And then I've got these uh, kind of burnt orange trousers. I don't know. I've got the orange skirt. Maybe these with a couple of the knits that I found. I really like this color combo a lot. It is very Virginia Hokies though. <laughs> so maybe that's not the move. And then this, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work with the vibe, but I thought maybe a pattern mix with these pants, and then it just kind of needs like a mock neck layer or something. Then I've got this blazer with the pants. So a couple things are coming together for sure. I think I want like a satiny camisole, maybe like a funky print blouse to go with those trousers and then a fitted turtleneck for sure. And then other than that, I'm just gonna let the top section speak to me. Just some fun 70s pieces, but really not what I'm looking for. Cute tag. is incredible. Look at the flames on it and the fringe. Wow. I mean, I, I gotta grab that for the shot up, right? I normally do film more of me just like thrifting and going through, but um, again, it feels so chaotic. It's really not even that busy in here today, but like, I'll, I'll try to show you. <laughs> turtlenecks but not what I'm looking for here's what kind of I was thinking with like a funky print button-up uh, and this one's 90s Cleo which I love 90s Cleo stuff but it might be too small for me it is on the tag sale I'll just grab it and see that's a maybe I like this really like thin knit turtleneck but would it go with the bright red 
with that dress? I don't know. Eee! This is just cute. Well, I'm in the fitting room and uh, I, I don't know why this felt so chaotic. I like half expect someone to barge in here <laughs> while I'm trying some on. <laughs> it's all good. We are in the fitting room. I'm going to try to put together some outfits because my cart got like pretty full here and there is a, a pile of clothes here that also is left behind before I came in and I just didn't have anywhere to put it yet. I'm gonna deal with it after. So anyway, let's style up some outfits. Here is that vintage dress with the little frilly detail. It's so cute. It's very sheer and I don't have like a slip to go under it so I am styling it. <laughs> Not styling it at all, just trying it on over my tank top and jeans. So I just wanted to see if it would fit. The sleeves are like a little bit short but I think it would work okay. So I might get this for myself. Um, just because it's fun vintage. Okay, here's my next look. We've got those like striped cargo pants and then just a plain white tee I grabbed off the rack. And then I'm gonna pair it with a jacket and I think a neck scarf. Listen, this is just not my day and here as I'm recording this, I am accidentally covering the microphone on my camera as I'm holding it. But anyway, I'm basically just telling you, love the proportions of this and I paired it with that like Peter Max looking scarf. I Google lensed this, but I couldn't find anything. It's definitely not Peter Max, but just that vibe and brings in a little pop of color. All right, here's look number two the base layer, just a black flowy pant. And then I didn't find like a satin cami, I found this knit uh, sleeveless top and I really like it, it's Talbot's nice quality. And then for this one, I'm gonna add one of those satin funky blazers and a bag. There we go, this purple one, I just like, I couldn't resist. It feels so spooky and Halloween and just very unique, so. We're going with that. I do think a different shoe would be fun, but the white kind of works. And then I found this kind of nice Ralph Lauren tote. It's like a thinner leather though, so it does, look how it's like kind of crumpled, but um, the hardware is really cute. And that one is 10 bucks. So that bag is kind of completing the look for me. I do like the satin blazer. I could see pairing this with like black and white stripes and also more orange detail. Like I've got orange hoops in today that kind of brings in more of the Halloween color scheme. So I could see it being styled that way. I do think it's a bit small for me, so I don't think I'm gonna take it home, but I'm glad I got to try it on because I could definitely see this being a fun piece to style for the season. Okay, I don't think this is like quite as amazing and stylish as I had hoped. So I think, like I'm trying to picture it if it had a beanie with it, just to like, <laughs> you know I love a beanie and it would just sort of like create that like contrast of like dressed up and dressed down. Um, but I'm also gonna try a coat layer. Okay, there we go, it did, I threw on the coat layer. Um, and then I also did a little bra tuck with the top to give a little bit of like uh, waist defining skin there. <laughs> Something about that is really fun to me. It might even be fun to reverse this and put the tank top over the button up and have it as like almost a corset layer but leaving the button up open and sort of like hanging wide like that. I could, you can picture it, right? Um, but yeah, I actually love it with the boots bag still works my earrings also work today so this with the beanie I'm feeling like that is the Pinterest look that I was trying to achieve um, it's definitely very much that vibe playing with the different lengths and proportions like that stylist does so I'm really enjoying this and I, I might pick up this skirt because I feel like I could get some wear out of it so let's keep styling Okay, wait, these pants are really good. I love how like loose and flowy they are. 
then my idea was to style this with a funky print blouse so I actually found two so we'll do a couple looks like that I have uh, one other blouse one other pair of pants okay here's number one with the styling we've got this like um, neutral paisley and floral blouse it's cute I think it's a 90s one from notations and then I found this modern little trendy bag with the chunky faux chain. I guess I'm feeling like the neutrals quite a bit today. Like I was definitely drawn to a lot of the neutral tones. So, and I have one other pair of pants and another funky blouse to do a similar look. So let's try that next. All right, next I am pairing this little tan and black stripey blouse with those black menswear corduroys. I love how they're kind of high water. I even rolled them up a little bit more. So I think this with like an Oxford shoe or loafer to give it a little bit of kind of a nerdy high water vibe. I would probably do that at home. And then I thought about doing that layering I was talking about with the black, the solid black knit. Uh, sleeveless over the top so let's try that this is probably my favorite look so far the knit top I just tucked like under again to be at my like natural waist and I like how the bottom kind of flares out and gives it like a faux peplum it also shows off the collar a lot more so actually like really highlighting the blouse even though it's more covered I love it with the orange pop of color in my earrings, maybe like a bright bag. Here's that like taupe one again. Yeah, this is way cute. The pants fit great. The blouse is like just totally my vibe and then just a simple styling with it. This feels like so wearable to me. And again, I think if I had like maybe a bright beanie or something, that would feel very much like me as well. Just adding another like funky accessory to it. Hopefully I have one more styling to try that I have been waiting to do for a while. So let's see if I can pull it off. <laughs> well, this is very much a fail as far as trying to recreate this uh, one Pinterest look that I've been obsessed with this one for a couple of years, I want to say, but this, this dress doesn't fit. It's the wrong cut because I think uh, um, that v-neck is kind of key in getting that effect. Although, I like the cow neck actually as the layering piece. And then I didn't get the color contrast that I was looking for either. I only found like a neutral turtleneck to go under it. So the search continues. <laughs> for sure, this is not it. All right, just so we don't end on a failed outfit, I thought it'd be fun to style up one like full-on spooky fit since that ended up being kind of the, the theme of the pieces that I picked out. So I decided to pair that striped top with the spooky purple jacket and the orange skirt. I think this is really fun. Again, I could see this with um, black, maybe black knee-high boots and then a witchy hat and like it's not on the nose but you're definitely in the seasonal vibe. <laughs> I actually just decided I'm getting these two pieces, the stripy blouse and the black cords because I think I would get so much wear out of both of them. I can see them fitting in perfectly with my existing wardrobe. They feel so much like me and at the same time they're like basics but they're really inspiring me to bring in some of my other pieces that I already have so I think that's like the perfect combination of when you know that you should pick something up at the thrift store. <laughs> Yay! Very happy with these finds. Well guys that was everything that I found today. I'm happy with the outfits that I was able to style up even though you know you never know what to expect. It didn't exactly come out like I thought it would. <laughs> Had some fun, shared some laughs, the friends we made along the way, etc. <laughs> and I will see you all again next week for a new video.